Oh my god, guys, I haven't seen Finley in so long. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's time to finally pack up this craziness of a closet to go home to Tampa, Florida. Mind you, I also have to pack up the rest of my room and under my bed, and I'm also going to simultaneously clean out my closet while doing so. And we have to pack up the bathroom. We've got lots to do. Not gonna be able to do this in one trip, I just know it. I'll probably come back in July and get all the finishing touches, come back for a couple of appointments, but I wanna do as much as I can now, so I think we're gonna I think we're gonna start with under the bed. I have so many t-shirts and stuff that I don't wear anymore. I'm gonna go through, donate those potentially to some homeless shelters because they're not like amazing t-shirts, but I think like someone could use them. Um, I'm also simultaneously packing for New York. Look at these bad boys. I'm so excited. All right, <laughs> pulling out the trash bags. Got my summer 2021 playlist going. I just started it on Spotify. I'm gonna start by going under my bed here. I can't. I don't even, oh, it's so awful down here. This drawer has been all of my workout gear and stuff. So sports bras and tanks and then all my leggings and biker shorts here. And then back there, you guys, I have a whole thing of sweatshirts and my suitcases back there. Or not even sweatshirts, um, t-shirts that I used to wear like freshman and sophomore year a lot. Now I like don't really wear them. And then this one, I have an overflow of my sweatshirts that I also have in there. I'm a mess, needless to say, and we need to cut it down. <laughs> All right, just went through my tank tops and sports bras, got a pile of keep and then giveaway. We're gonna get into the leggings. I can't even open this drawer. All right, we got all the activewear all settled. Now time to get back there and look at all these old sorority t-shirts and all kinds of stuff. Okay, so there's actually a lot of t-shirts I wanna keep, oops. I am so mad though, I am finding a ton of really cute sweaters that I was looking for this winter. This pink turtleneck is literally the cutest thing ever and I thought I stupidly gave it away or something and it's just been hidden under my bed. So the beauty of cleaning out your closet is you find things. It's like shopping in your own closet. Currently putting all of my jackets and sweaters in this one so I can directly bring this to New York City. Just got so much done while I was on my call. I literally, I just recently cleaned out my closet, so I didn't have a lot to go through, but I would take things out and say, okay, am I bringing it home or am I giving it away? So this is exciting stuff. This is really overwhelming though, and I didn't realize I only have one big suitcase. So I'm also kind of working with these trash bags. All right, <laughs> I managed to fit all of my activewear into this duffel bag and I put all my t-shirts that I'm taking back here and then I overflow of the t-shirts on each side. This has been a great thing for moving. It's my brother's, I stole it from him forever ago. All right, things are happening. I just cleared out this drawer, which is all my tanks. So this is keep, this is giveaway. Cleaned out all my body suits. One of my friend's little sister is gonna be a freshman here at UGA, so I'm pulling some of my decor stuff that I won't be taking with me, so to see if she wants it. So I got this, I'm gonna show her this. Now going through this basket, I have of hats and bathing suits and putting that in this little duffel. This whole line of stuff needs to go in my car, but it can't go in my car until I go to New York City and back, so I'm driving to the airport and then back to Athens and then packing all this stuff and then going home to Tampa, so it's just gonna have to be in this hallway. Guys, I'm also laughing because Delaney asked if she could clean out the fridge and she was like, what do you wanna keep in there? And I was like, just the drinks and my ginger shot thing. And then when I was doing my makeup just now, I was like, oh my God, wait, but the baby carrots. And so I was like, wait, you kept the baby carrots. And she was like, I wouldn't dare touch the baby carrots. So I'm really happy about that because I always gotta have baby carrots. Oh my God, I have, so, I have so many bags of baby carrots. This is funny. But yeah, fridge is cleaned out pretty much except for the alcohol. And then the freezer's pretty much cleared out. Oh my gosh, I have to bring these cookies home. We have all of our popsicles, fireball shots. Whoa. Also, we cleaned out most of our pots and pans and bowls and plates. We just kept the bare minimum for this past week. My parents took them home. Um, but yeah, this is all, all the wine glasses are gone. 
I guess I'll have to clean through this. This is just snacks, like non-perishable. I mean, they perish, but you know what I mean? Like just some dry snacks. I guess we still have all of our silverware. A couple things here. We kept a couple Tupperwares in case, but really, it's getting empty up in here. We're both dreading taking this photo wall down because it has so many memories on it. And don't even get me started on this gallery wall. Like, I can't even think about that right now. Like, that's so sad. And Delaney's brother actually took our patio furniture, which is per or balcony furniture, which is perfect. He didn't have any for his apartment at school. So we had a table or a table and two chairs. And I guess we'll have to take those lights down. Craziness, I tell you. We'll have to take our poster down. We did not complete it, sadly. Hey, hello, you guys. It's a couple days later. I just rolled in the door from New York City. I just got back from the airport. It is now 3.15. I'm gonna head down to the office of my apartment building and grab one of those huge red bins because the office closes at five. So I need to use that red bin as much as I can because I am here alone. Delaney's already back at home. Ryan, I just dropped him off at, the, um, at his house in Atlanta. He's just gonna be home for the next little bit. So I actually don't really know when I'm gonna see him next exactly. Hopefully in like three weeks, a month. But then we'll be living in the city together, so it's fine. But um, I have this whole evening to myself, uninterrupted, um, to, uh, obviously you guys saw, I have this whole hallway full of stuff that I packed up last week that I'm so happy my past self did. So I'm gonna take this huge red bin, you guys see it, put all that stuff in kind of organize my car. And then I still have to go through my bathroom stuff. Um, and I think I have a couple like snacks in here I need to clean out. I need to bring like my ring light, stuff like that. I think Delaney and I are gonna come back at the end of July. And, cause we'll wanna see each other obviously. And we'll do like a full sweep, like clean the apartment, clean out literally everything because she's gonna be coming in and out this summer a little bit to grab stuff. She's not fully moved out. Um, we did most of the kitchen, like I said. I'm just trying to get everything out of my room as much as I can um, to have everything for, with me for the summer because I won't be back here for another two months and then we'll come back and we'll return our keys and I know that there's going to be a couple random PR packages that come here in the next two months that I can't really control so I'll want to come back in July just quickly to do that so that's kind of that rundown. Tonight's goal, get any packages I have in the mail right now. Pack up my bathroom, like go through my products and get my ring light, go through my desk. I have like my podcast mic, I have camera chargers, I have cameras, I have a lot there. Um, but I'm really happy the closet's already done. So sorry, that was really rambly. I just got, I'm like drinking this coffee right now and it's hitting for sure. And then I'll have a nice evening to myself. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. I might go for a walk on campus or like Uber eat some dinner, maybe take myself out to dinner, I don't really know. I'm just happy I actually have a good amount of time now and then in the morning I'm gonna hit the ground running and head back to Tampa. I am so excited to go home for the summer. Let's do this, oh my gosh, it's grind time. Hair's up and about, put on a t-shirt. I also have to unpack from New York City, but that's a later problem, so let's go get that bin. Literally, thank God for these red bins. I'm literally just gonna leave it in the doorway and load all this stuff in there and do the first round to my car. Ooh. All right, let's do this. All right, just did one major load and took a ton of things down that I packed up last week. I have like a couple clothing items that I almost packed for New York but I didn't end up bringing so I'll put those in my suitcase that I have from New York City. I think I'm gonna do a load of laundry just with all my stuff from New York and then whatever's here right now. Packing up my shoes, I already cleaned up my shoes so all the shoes will be coming with me. I also just packed up all of my shoes and purses Yep, that's actually so sad. All of this are my shoes and purses. This, now it's time to get started on my products. I, I mean, obviously I use these things every day. It's my toiletries and my makeup. I'll definitely pack all these things up. It's my go-tos. And then I have some random stuff in here. I don't know, I have boxes, but I feel like the boxes are too big for my car now, so I might have to get a soft bag and put all this stuff in. Hallway is a lot cleaner now. I just returned the red bin, so I only had 20 more minutes till they close. I Uber Eats myself some maple. You guys know I love this place. It's so weird, I'm like in Athens, but like none of my friends are here, and I'm just kind of cleaning, but it's my favorite meal. I get rice, chicken, green beans, and a little mac and cheese, so I'm gonna eat this. A very late lunch. And I'll probably have a super late dinner. Saying goodbye to this mirror that I've had in my bedroom for the last three years. Um, my friend Caroline asked if she could have it. 
she offered to pay and I was like, just literally take it. It'll be in good hands. She's moving to Atlanta, so I'm gonna go bring this down to her. I was able to get all of my products, makeup, all that into these two little bags, so that's progress. Folded all of my clothes that I had in the laundry. I think this is all gonna fit. Updated progress, I have more bags of stuff there. This whole bag is all of my tech stuff. Currently watching The Baker and the Beauty on Netflix. I'm like blowing through it. I'm sure I'm about to finish the season, sadly. Went through my desk a little bit, need to finish doing that. I am just, like I said, definitely have to come back in July. I just simply can't get everything done. Ordered takeout from my favorite Thai restaurant in Athens called Thai Spoon. I walked to go get it, it was so nice just to go for a nice little evening walk. I got chicken and broccoli with mushrooms and a side of rice. And I'm probably gonna continue watching Bake and the Beauty. And I just brought some more stuff down to my car before I went to go pick up the food. We're actually in really good shape and I might be able to go to bed early. Just showered and I have my hair in a little towel scrunchie. It's like 10 o'clock, I just popped some melatonin. I wanna go to bed soon. Taking the last round of things back down to my car. This grocery cart is seriously the best thing ever. Got this huge bag of my products here. Hopefully it doesn't break, it's kind of a nice bag. I should have chosen a different one. I kept a couple things that I'll need for the morning. I just have so much crap. Like moving makes you realize how much crap you have. I have my Alexa, and then I also have some of my favorite little games that I wanna play this summer. So yeah, it's looking really empty around here. I still have that light just to make me happy. Um, I took some photos of my shoe rack my nightstand and this to see if any younger gals at UGA want them. The closet is pretty much empty. I'm gonna sleep in braids tonight because I don't really want to deal with styling my hair in the morning since I'm just gonna drive for eight hours. Last slumber in this bed for a while and then I'm going home tomorrow. Got an eight hour drive ahead of me. I'm feeling ready. I, well, I have to sleep first but then I feel like I'll feel ready. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. It's road trip day. I'm unplugging everything. Don't want anything plugged in while I'm gone. All right, we've got a little morning checklist here. Dishwasher, plug everything. I just unplugged everything in my room. I think everything's unplugged in here. Turn off AC. Take out trash. I was waiting for the morning, but I don't want it to smell bad in here when we come back. Boom, done. I think I'm gonna shut these blinds too so it doesn't get too hot in here. Alrighty, room. I'll see you in July to fully sweep up. Here is my little road trip of OTD. Surprise, surprise. Outdoor voices exercise dress. I'll link it below. I have it in a couple colors now. Put on my Apple Watch, I don't know why. Air Force Ones. Hair turned out pretty fun, sleeping in braids, so love that. Oh god, I know I'm not saying completely goodbye today, but it feels like it. Peace out. Car is all packed up, got my essentials up here. <laughs> Jeez, it's included. Water, sunglasses, phone. We are super packed back here, but we love that. Ready. And so the road trip begins. First stop, Duncan. Hi there, can I get um, a medium iced coffee with cream and one sugar? A bacon, egg, and cheese croissant, please. That's it. Thank you. Pulled over really quick from the driveway just so I could get everything settled, wanna be safe. My Duncan order, I literally just get an iced coffee with cream and one sugar. And then I always get a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. They're so delicious. So excited to go home and see my family. I'm sad to leave Athens, but no one's really here, so it makes it a little easier. All right, as of now, it says my ETA is 3.23 to my house, but I can see that going up to four with my P-stops. So I'll tell my fam ETA of four.
Hello from the Chick-fil-A driveway. It's now almost noon, which means Danny is ready for lunch. 20 minutes later, got Chick-fil-A, got Coke for some reason, then I got, I always get the eight count nugget meal. Let's dig in. You guys, I just arrived to my house and this photo is right here. Oh my god, I literally need to go see Finley. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh my god! Hello, hello. Also, nice to. Oh, oh, you're so big. Guys, there's a new addition to my room. My dad hung up my TV from my bedroom in Georgia here. I'm so excited. I've literally never had a TV in this room ever. Guys, Finley had a three minute freak out when I was here. Hey, you are a jumper. Ah, down. I'm here for all the PR packages. Oh my gosh. Finley, I cannot with you. Hi. My mom said she's making black beans and rice and green beans for my arrival, my favorite meal. Yes, Finn Bear. There she is again. Oh, I didn't say hello to the fish. Hi. Say hello to the fishies. You look so good. Oh my bed, so cute. Now turn on the lights, get the vibes going. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Dad, I realized you didn't say this in my last vlog. Hi, girls. Hey. Hey, Mom. Hey. Hey, hey girls. <laughs> Guys, the sun is setting. It's absolutely beautiful out. I'm already back on my BS. So we got my kombucha and a wine glass. This is a plastic wine glass. It's perfect because I tend to break glass. You want some kombucha? Well, you guys, I'd say that wraps up this vlog. It was definitely a collective vlog over the last week. Moving, driving, packing, all the things. I hope you all enjoyed. So excited to see you guys along on this summer content. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time for our next video. Bye. Have a good summer. Hags.